Hey, don't mind the smoke. <laughs> Good hunting! See? more people like you in the world. I want you to have this. I no, thank you. Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. Wait a minute. It's you! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. You just thought you'd pop in? Don't take this the wrong way, but you probably ought to just turn around and not come back. Things, well, they haven't gone very well since you and your dad left. This isn't the happy vault you grew up in anymore. There's real trouble. Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of crap, if you'll pardon my language. 
I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. Matter of fact, a lot of folks started thinking he had the right idea. He usually did. So, if it was safe out there, why stay down here forever? Well, the Overseer didn't like that one bit and started cracking down on that sort of thought. Guess he didn't plan on you coming back. I can't do that. Not officially, at least. As much as some of the rebels would like to talk with you, the Overseer said you weren't welcome back. Of course, if you survived whatever's out there, none of us could stop you if you really wanted to cause problems. But I'd prefer if you don't. But out of respect to your dad, I could turn a blind eye. You could slip out and say you were never here. I won't tell a soul. I guess you've had a lot on your mind since you were here last. Where do you want to go? Okay, follow me. What have you got on your mind? If you insist, but do be careful. I can hardly repay your kindness while waiting back here. Wait here. This doesn't look good. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brotch? Stay out Stay of this. Back. I really shouldn't be seen talking with you, you know. What do you want? It's not that they want to leave. It's that they want to open the door and interact with the rest of the world. But that would risk the whole vault. Well, okay. Just be careful down here. The vault's changed, I tell you. Holy Taylor, crap, stop you're crazy! Shooting, damn it! Don't you know enough to stay away? I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're going to try something dangerous. I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened. And all the chaos and fighting, her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. Yes, you do. I guess you can see how bad things are down here. As chance would have it, she was one of the first people to talk about life outside the vault after you left. No surprise. She always did like you. I hope you can talk some sense into her. Or maybe the two of you can come up with some other plan. Just be careful about it. Amada's up there, in the clinic with the rest of them. I'd take you closer, but they don't. Damn! Look!
look who's come waltzing back into the vault. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You gotta help us. What sort of help do you think I mean? You must have heard about the changes since you left, right? The deaths, the lies, the whole overseer lockdown thing? Ringing any bells? Man, they'd have rushed in here long ago if they didn't know I stole one of their guns from when they issued martial law. Anyway, you gotta help us get out of here. You gotta help me get out of here. Man, screw the entire vault. What about me? Even these rebels just want the option to go outside for lousy trading and stuff. I just want to get the hell out of here for good. Why stay here and be stuck as a barber for my entire life when I could go out there and make my own choices? The damn goat said I'm supposed to be a hairdresser, but that ain't me. I'm a barber, you got that? There's a difference. I'll start a gang, of course. Why, it'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the Wasteland's ever seen. Hey, play your cards right, maybe I'll even let you join it, huh? Well, they ain't seen nothing like me yet. Butcher's gonna take that wasteland by storm. I heard old Stanley complaining a lot of the stuff down in the reactor got fried pretty bad. Nothing too bad, yet, but he's always worrying we'll lose air filtration or whatever. Of course, if that happened, guess we'd all have to leave the vault then, huh? Because you've always been a goody two-shoes, so when I need help, it's what you're gonna do, right? You're gonna help Amada anyway, right? Just make it so we can leave the vault, and I'll leave and never bother you again. Catch you later, maybe. out there for someone your age. Oh dear, we aren't asking for anything special. The vault's been open before, but for some reason everyone tried to pretend it wasn't. I guess they try to forget the poor souls who never came back from out there. My poor grandson Jonas died is what happened. They say it was just an accident and all the confusion, but I know it was the overseer. Oh, please be careful. Oh my god, you're back! You got my message and actually came back! Oh, thank you! Everything's gone crazy since you left, and now that you're back, you can help set things straight. I just wish we could have saved more people. Jonas and, and the Hannons and so many others died that night. It was bad enough they died because my father was trying to keep the door closed, but then I found out it was all to protect a lie! I found out the vault wasn't always closed. They've lied to us about it for our entire lives. What? How long did you know about this? You know what? Never mind. What's important is that now we know that we were lied to all our lives and that people have died for that lie. And even now, when we most need help, the Overseer still won't let us try to communicate with the outside. You're absolutely right. It's not like we want to abandon the vault or anything. Well, Butch does, but he's too big a coward to go out on his own. Most of us had accepted that the outside was certain death, and things would always stay the same down here. But now we know they don't have to be. After all, it was enough to get you and your dad to leave, so there must be something good out there. Don't you get it? We don't want to abandon the vault. We want to open it. We still want this to be our home, but we want to get supplies from outside. Trading, exploring, anything's better than just hiding down here. The real problems came after you two left. The injured had nobody to turn to since our doctor had run off and his assistant had died. 
Now, we've got to rely on that old Mr. Handy for most of our medical needs, and he hasn't exactly got the best bedside manner. Ever had an examination from someone with cold, metal pincers? You don't want to! I just don't know. Maybe he thinks he's protecting us, but all he's really doing is condemning us. I thought parents were supposed to want a better world for their children. Well, there's a new world waiting right outside that door. And we're not going to give up until we can reach it. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. Damn it! This is no time for joking around! Be careful. You're alive! I hate that this whole thing has turned us against our families. But we just can't keep living down here forever. I mean, look at this place. A lot of security got wounded, and worse. In all the confusion, we still don't know who's responsible for some of them. Bye. How may I serve you, Master? Another patient. What's it to be, eh? Appendectomy? Tonsillectomy? Hysterectomy? Ah, yes, a rather unfortunate incident. In all the commotion, Miss Beatrice suffered a rather bad sprain in her left toe. The big... Obviously, I had... such petty affairs. My work is my life. And, as you can see, I've been quite busy. But of course, with your father's departure from the vault and Jonas's untimely demise, the overseer had to take swift action. <laughs> and so he named me the new vault medical practitioner. A marvelous decision, if I do say so myself. I am fully equipped after Yes, a rather unfortunate incident. In all the commotion, Miss Beatrice suffered a rather bad sprain in her left toe. The big one. Obviously, I had no choice but to amputate the leg. Yeah, I'm sorry to say the operation was uh, not a uh, success. Of course, of course. Don't let me keep you. thought you'd be back. It's good to see you again. What is it? Wow, you're back. I wouldn't call us rebels. I mean, we don't agree with the Overseer, but we still love the Vault. We just want to try going outside, too. Mom and little Monica got caught in the fires. I tried to get them out, I really did. But it was just too hot. I know it wasn't your fault, but my dad doesn't think as highly of you. You wouldn't want to hear what he said he'd do to your dad, either. Later. Hello. It's good to see you again. Hey, good to see you again. I tell you, those guards are getting nastier every day. One of these days, it's gonna turn real ugly. But I'll be ready for it. The Overseer thinks he's in charge of us just because it's his job? Well, nuts to that! We do what we want, and we want to open the vault! Later. 
It's good to see you again. I never thought you'd be back. again. I never thought you'd be back. you're doing, I don't think he's going to be happy to see you. Follow close to me and I'll escort you down to him. us alone? Those kids are risking our entire vault just because they're bored. It's horrible. The bugs were horrible, but my family was pretty lucky. But then my Freddy went and got caught up with those idiot rebels. Yes, you do. Cut it out. Why don't you look where you're going? Make it quick. We're already headed there. Can't you smell the fire and brimstone? Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. Really? And here I had expected you to be full of bullets and bravado, but short on brains. Perhaps you've grown up since you left our vault. 
I regret the unfortunate events of that night, but I'm afraid that once your father left us, they were unavoidable. The sad truth is that his actions presented a real and direct threat to the future success of our vault, and so, regrettably, they had to be opposed. Aha, you're paying attention. Good for you. These vaults were designed to be safe havens for humanity, you see. But more than that, they were designed to test and protect us. And none more so than our Vault 101. We are to be a pure and protected breed of humans, never tainted by the ravages of the war above. And what makes you so certain about that? I can't imagine you're still so naive after spending time in that hell outside. None of them know what the outside is like, and most of them would die out there. Then the rest of us inside would eventually die out too. I won't risk all of our lives just for a few people's passing fancy of taking a wasteland vacation. I hope you can understand that. They have to understand that we did that to keep them from going outside and getting killed. To keep them from making the same mistake our generation did when we were their age. Some of us already lost loved ones out there long ago. We won't lose any more today. To fix what you started? Go ahead and humor me. Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? I admit, in the 200 years since the war, our numbers have dwindled a little. But we have enough genetic diversity for a few more generations. My god, you're right! We won't last another hundred years, whether or not we get supplies from the outside. We're the last bastion of pure humanity, and we're doomed. I wish I could share your optimism, but I suppose you have a point in your blathering way. My way won't save our vault's mission, but if I let them contact the outside world, I might be able to save its inhabitants. But I'm not the one to lead them in that. I'm stepping down as overseer. I'll tell Amata that I can think of no more appropriate leader than she. Make it quick. If you want to go on alone and see her call, just don't stir up too much trouble down here, okay? You may be used to the outside, but this is all the world some of us have. You don't belong here anymore! says he's stepping down as overseer. He won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. You and him? Civil? I expected you to change out in the wasteland, but not that much. But I guess we'll all be learning a bit about the outside now. As a new overseer, I'm planning on opening the vault. This time, for good. 
it's a bright new day for the vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change. I know you are, and on behalf of the vault, I thank you for all you've done. But there are still many who blame you for everything that happened. So, I have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. Please, if you really want to help the vault, you have to go. We can never really thank you enough for everything you've done. It's not much, but take this with you, to remember us by. It'll be a while before we're actually ready to go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. But with luck, we'll meet again.
Well, hey there, stranger. Sierra Petrova does the name. Good to see a new face in Girder Shade. I take it you're here to check out my Nuka Cola collection and take the tour. I have one of the. No. The best Nuka Cola collection in the Capital Wasteland. Heck. I've won the Nuka-Cola Fan Club Collection Award for the last 10 years in a row. Well, look around you. Toys, banners, stools. Anything I can get my hands on, really. My pride and joy is my perfect Nuka-Cola machine. It's barely even scratched. Actually, I have to give credit to Ronald for donating some of it. Ronald? Oh, I'm sorry. I figured you met him already. He usually chats with people who enter Girder Shade. He's my neighbor and my protector, as he calls it. Imagine if some nasty raider wanted to take my stuff. He'd show them a thing or two. He's such a sweetie. You should talk to him. I sure did. Want to take it now? How can you resist? This stuff is so cool. Well, come on, then. Let me show you around. But no free Nuka-Cola until the end of the tour. When Nuka-Cola was invented by John Caleb Braverton in 2044, it quickly became the world's most popular soft drink. All the Wonder the Drink soon drew a dedicated play. following, which prompted the Nuka Cola Corporation to release many promotional items like these. By 2067, a Nuka Cola machine such as this rare, pristine model could be found on almost every street in America. Even in today's crazy world, Nuka-Cola is still the number one choice of refreshment among Armageddon survivors. As promised, here's a little pick-me-up. An ice-cold Nuka-Cola. Just look at the frost on the bottle. So cold and delicious. Pardon me. <clears throat> I tend to lose myself when I hold on to a Nuka-Cola. Before I get to the little proposition I have for you, let me tell you a little bit about Nuka-Cola Quantum. Well, right before the bombs fell, the good folks at Nuka-Cola developed what they hoped was an improvement on the original formula. Calling it Nuka-Cola Quantum, it was said to have twice the calories, twice the carbohydrates, twice the caffeine, and twice the taste. Well, the flavor certainly wasn't the issue. The public was just split on the unique feature of the Quantum's appearance. You see, to make it stand out on store shelves and to give it that extra kick, the formula called for a mild isotope. The effect was a drink that not only boosted your energy, but also glowed with a bright blue light. Oh no, only ever so mildly. No ill effects were ever recorded. Well, it does have the unique property of making your, um, your pee glow. Oh no, not at all. Nuka-Cola Quantum was made under the supervision of the Food and Drug Association. They would never let harmful products end up in stores. I love the stuff. I can't get enough of it. I thought I was hooked on regular Nuka-Cola, but the Quantum beats it by a long shot. I've got to have more. Can you resist the taste that'll blow up in your face? Like Ronald always says. <laughs> he thinks of the best Nuka-Cola jingles. Anyway, for every bottle you bring me, I'll pay you some caps. You know, for expenses. But if you're super cool and find, like, enough bottles to fill my Nuka-Cola machine, 30 and all, I got a super secret cool prize for you. Oh, okay. I have a schematic for the Nuka-Grenade. 
the only one in the whole capital wasteland. Bring me the bottles, and it's yours. Imagine the look on the target's face when they are burning alive in an effervescent explosion of cola and fruit flavors. So, what do you say? Will you bring me the bottles? Oh, goody! I can taste the quantum already. Good luck to you, sweetie. Well, to the east, there are some nasty raiders in Evergreen Mills. I'd stay away from there if I were you. Luckily, we're kind of hidden here under the old highway, so no one bothers us. In fact, I do. <laughs> Surprised you, didn't I? Your best bet would be to find the ruins of the DC Nuka-Cola bottling facility. Find the shipping manifests inside. With them in hand, you should have a good clue as to where the quantum was delivered. While you're there, you may even be able to find some bottles of quantum. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. Hey, pal, what were you doing in Sierra's place? That better be all you were checking out. I don't like guys messing with my woman. Well, that's likely because it's none of anyone's business but ours. She's one hot lady, though, am I right? Wow, you are as naive as you look. How do I put it? I'd love to do the horizontal bop with her, you know, plow her bean field. Come on, kid. New to this stuff, huh, kid? Well, let's just say that she has something I want to get a hold of. That's where you enter the picture. I know she's asked you to find her some Nuka-Cola Quantum. Heck, she asks everyone that wanders through here. What I'm proposing is you still look for the drinks, but instead of bringing it to her, you bring it to me. She'll be so impressed that I got all the Nuka-Cola for her, she'll melt in my arms like butter. I pay you the same she was going to pay, and everyone's happy. Alright, alright, double it is. Just bring me those bottles. If I have to listen to Sierra ramble on any longer, I think I'll blow my brains out. So you gonna do it or what? Well, look, don't answer me now, just keep it in mind. If you find some and you've had a change of heart, I'll still buy them. Oh, and I wouldn't bother running back to Sierra and warning her. She won't even understand what you're talking about. She may be a hottie, but she's a bit vacant in the smarts department. Yeah? You need something? How may I serve you, Master? If you're here with some quantum, I have caps with your name on. You've done it! My machine is finally full! Well, like I promised, here's the schematic for the Nuka Grenade. You've sure earned it! If you find any more bottles, be sure and bring them by. I'll be glad to keep paying for them. 
Hey, you're back. Well, the stuff is so rare, I only know one. It's called Mississippi Quantum Pie. It's delicious. If you want me to make you one, I can. Just bring me some flour, vodka, and a Nuka-Cola Quantum. I can whip it up in no time. Oh no, he's such a cutie pie. He never bothers me. Bye-bye now. Hey there, got anything good for me? Excellent, let me offload the data and I'll be glad to pay you. Oh, come on, pay more attention to what you're doing. Hey there, got any? Hope you find. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. to roam around. You're quite welcome. Hey there. Got anything good for Well, I've been feeling a little more confident now that I have you mapping for us. I think we'll head out into the ruins and do some search and destroy to ease back into things. Hope you find what you're looking for. Back from splattering more muties? Well, all right, you're back. Now that you're part of the team, Riley's her old self again. We've been vaporizing hostiles like there's no tomorrow. Adios, kid.
Bye. Uh, hold it right there, pal. You're giving me everything you own. Uh, now. All right, all right. I wasn't gonna shoot you. Damn guns out of shells anyway. Look, this is embarrassing. I'm just gonna go, okay?
is at your service. 